All right, so basically if you guys live in LA and you do TikTok and you want to use a 15 year old for your personal growth, for personal, fuck. You told me let's film and then you took like a 45 minute shower <laughs> left me out there. What is your hair? It's, it's the joke, it's the curtains. <laughs> I was so scared when I opened the door. I was just like, he showered to look like that? Yeah. All right, so if you guys live in the LA area and you do TikTok and you want to profit off a 15 year old girl, I have the place for you. I have the solution. So basically this new hype house is pretty much Kids Bop. Kids Bop was basically this thing where uh, they, sh they shot music videos, but it was, it was like very kid friendly. Random music videos, there would be like a popular song but then they would kids bop it. So basically the hype house is the kids bop version of the cloud house. So I thought it was appropriate to, you know, have my hair like this. Why you're asking? Well, I'm going to show you. If you guys don't know, I'm on TikTok and pretty much I'm trying to build my TikTok to be one of these famous hype housers. So I wanted to take a look at, you know, ways that I can get into the hype house, ways that, you know, I look similar to them so that they, you know, they think I'm one of their own. So basically I found this picture of the hype house. Let's take a look at it. Pretty much looking at this, all I can really notice from this photo is that, well, it's not a very diverse group of people. Like in all honesty, these kind of just look like the kids that would bully me in high school. But now that I'm on the internet, um, I have Cody to do that for me. So I was taking a look at all these dudes in this photo and well, one thing really stood out to me. Curtains are back in style. Obviously I don't rock it as well as these kids. So I kind of just want to, you know, fix it, um, maybe look a little, maybe I'll throw on a beanie, all right? That's better, now I just look like a lesbian stoner. <laughs> so basically, if you don't know who these people are, I'm gonna look up the hype house, and I'm gonna, you know, look through some people's names, you know, see how old they are, what they do for a living, how they were able to afford this TikTok house. All right, so the first person we have on this list is Thomas Petru. Um, he's a 21 year old with a dream, and he made it a reality by moving into the hype house. Homie, you're not a kid anymore. You're not a kid with a dream. You're an adult that moved in with 15 year olds. Pretty much everybody clowns on this guy, you know? I seem, I think he's a pretty cool guy. We got Lil Huddy, AKA Chase Hudson. So basically it doesn't tell me how old he is. It doesn't tell me anything. It just basically says that he's dating Charlie and that, well, their followers are supporting it. In my mind, that makes no sense. Like whose follower is just up and gets just like, I support that. Then there's Alex Warren, AKA David Dobrik 2.0. He's unemployed and he does YouTube on the side. And then we got Rylan Storms. I actually, I actually don't mind this guy. He's pretty chill. He, he messaged me on Instagram once and he said, yeah. I said. So basically to sum it up, there's about 15 or 20 of them that live in the fucking house and basically they're all unemployed. So one thing I do have to say is that there's not much hype around the hype house, you know? It's basically just a bunch of adults that moved in with a 15 year old for their own personal gain and all they do is, is dance. Is this honestly what it feels like to be a boomer? Am I a boomer? So now that we have a better understanding of who they are, I kind of want to take a deeper look into what they do, you know, what their TikToks are about, what their dances are about. So basically all they do is they create videos where they do overused dance moves and that's their content. So this bitch is literally throwing it back in the middle of a store. Like this man back here is literally just trying to buy some shoes. Like he does not give a fuck about you throwing it back in the middle of sports check or Foot Locker, wherever the fuck you are. Maybe even the Nike store, who cares? He's just trying to get some presents for his goddamn granddaughter. So there's one more video I wanna look at. Um, basically it's just a video of them all sitting in this studio um, with a bunch of Roblox or whatever the fuck these kids are into nowadays. So I want to take a look at another video. Uh, this one's with, with Rylan and Hut Hudson? Hut Houston, Houston 16. So I kind of want to learn how to recreate one of these TikToks so that when I put it on my own TikTok, I will get a lot of views. Okay, so I, I think I've learned the dance move, all right? So I think it goes something a little bit like this. So basically, if you were to take that put that on TikTok, you would probably get a lot of views. Pretty much why I'm making this video is I'm trying to try out for the hype house. I want to be a part of them. Oh shit, I just realized I missed a key factor. Is that better? So I feel like I'm not really introduced to them, which I mean, I guess that's okay. But one thing that really does upset me is that they've been getting famous for doing the exact same dance moves. Because every time I go on my TikTok, you know, I made this one TikTok where I went, ah, oh, it's Maddie, fuck the smoke. 
I got flamed for it. Cody literally made a video mocking me and then flipped me off at the end. Like by the looks of it on TikTok, the, the whoa isn't out of style yet. Like when did it become out of style? And that's what's really frustrating to me. These kids just do the whoa. I try to do the whoa, I get made fun of. Once you hit a certain age, you know, your body starts changing. You start getting high cholesterol. You can never do the whoa in public. It's just not cool anymore. So I think that's enough, all right? I don't want to look through this TikTok anymore. It's just honestly hurting my, my self-esteem. If anybody from the Hype House is watching this, please invite me, maybe enlighten me on what dance moves I can learn. And that's not even a cap, okay? I'm gonna be in LA soon. I do TikTok. I pretty much fit the entire criteria. I've talked to some of your members. You guys are pretty cool, all right? So just invite me to the Hype House, please. I'm growing a relevance, and I really need a 15-year-old to profit off of. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, no hate to anybody. This is all just for fun. I don't want to be the next cyber bully of 2020. So all my social media will be down in the description below. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment. Tell me what your favorite part of the video was. I don't know. Do something. And it's been your boy Maddie Smokes. And later.